Today we're going to be taking a look at Ryobi's 18 volt brushless hammer drill driver kit. Now this is a really great tool if you need to drill through cinder block or brick and we're going to be running it through some tests. Pretty much any hammer drill can use the tiny little Tapcon drill bits that come with the Tapcons. But we're going to be using a one inch drill bit like this one here that I've used to drill through brick and cinder block and mortar. So we're going to be testing out the driver and I think that'll be an interesting test for you to see. Here's the model information right here. It's 1002-098427. Just so you know, there's a 90 day no risk satisfaction guarantee on this driver. So for whatever reason you don't like it, you can take it back. All right, let's open it up and see what's in the box. First of all, you get a nice bag with it, which is cool. Here's the dual chemistry charger. You can charge any 18 volt one plus battery on this. Here are the accessories, so belt clip and handle. The driver. And one battery. You can place the handle on the hammer drill either on the right side or the left side. I'm gonna put it on the left side for now. And the handle comes in two pieces. So there's the first piece, here's the second piece. And you just spin the larger portion of the handle on clockwise. The battery slides into the hammer drill like so until you hear the click, and then you're good to go. So then the battery indicator is on the front. Press down, you see we have two lights. So this is not completely charged, but we're still gonna do our testing. You do get one bit with the hammer drill. So here's your Phillips side, here's your flathead side. The nice thing about this is there's a, a magnetic strip right here. So you can put your, your, your extra bits right there. And there's your work light, your LED work light. So there are three different modes on this hammer drill. There's drill mode, drive mode, in hammer mode. Drill mode is for drilling through wood, plastic, metal, etc. Drive mode is for driving screws and bolts into material. And hammer mode is for drilling holes into masonry and concrete. There's a 24 position clutch, which you can adjust by just turning it clockwise and counterclockwise as normal. And then there are two speed modes. There's, there's speed two and speed one. You have four amp hours on this battery, and as I said in the beginning, it's 18 volts. Now the nice thing about the battery charger is it says that it takes only 30 minutes to charge the battery, which is great. So even though you only get one battery, it's not going to take forever to charge. You have a half inch chuck here, which is great because it allows you to use pretty big bits like this one here. And we're going to be testing this out in a second. The no load speed on this, depending on what speed you have it set at, so either speed one or speed two, ranges from zero to 410, which I believe is in speed one, and zero to 1800 rotations per minute in speed two. Now the BPM on speed one is zero to 5400. On speed two, it's zero to 23,000. The torque on this is about 750 inch pounds and the total weight is a little over three pounds. So it's not super heavy. And the nice thing is it has this rubber grip on it, which is really important when you're in the hammer drill mode. Let's do some testing with this model. I'm gonna be using a Tapcon drill bit first. Now Tapcon drill bits are great if you need to drill through a brick, cinder block or mortar. They're not very big bits and you can use the Tapcon screws to hang things on a wall in say your garage or outside your home if you go to brick home. Before we get started here, just a few tips. Uh, number one, make sure you wear hearing protection. Number two, get yourself a bucket of water, especially if you're gonna be drilling into concrete. You can dip your, your masonry bit into that water and make it last a lot longer because you're gonna cool it down. Same principle applies for if you're gonna be drilling into tile. Have that bucket of water, or a container of water. Every few seconds, just go ahead and dip that bit into the water. You'll preserve the bit, and typically these bits are expensive, so you don't want them to wear out. So, a few quick tips for you. This is a 3 16th inch masonry bit meant for tap cons. We're gonna go ahead and test this out first. In case you're wondering, we're using speed two, and we have it set on the hammer drill mode. So this first one, we're gonna drill right through the center of the cinder block. There's really not much to it. It's hollow, so this should be easy.
For that first test, I did not want to apply that much pressure to the drill. I wanted the drill to do all of the work so that you could see exactly how it would perform. Now, the one thing I want to tell you, obviously the performance not only depends on the drill, it depends on the bit. This bit is older, so I want to give some fair balance there. Now, for the second test, we're going to be drilling through the more solid portion of the cinder block. So we're not going to be drilling into a hollow space. We're going to be going down about an inch or so into the solid portion of the cinder block. So again, pretty good performance going straight through the cinder block, so not through the hollow part, but the solid portion. Now, for the next test, I'm gonna be using the exact same Tapcom bit, and I'm gonna be drilling through a brick. So brick is harder than cinder block, and typically can give you uh, some fits if you don't have a, a good hammer drill. So let's go ahead and try out this test. I thought it cut through the brick very well. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Now our next test is gonna be using this huge one inch masonry bit. And uh, this is what I use to cut through brick and mortar and, and siding to put in our hose bibs and, and rental properties and my rental properties. So you'd need a, a drill bit this size to fit in the frost free hose bib. And we're gonna try this out on a cinder block. All right, let's do it. All right, a little bit of a bummer here, my battery died, but this is a good thing because, well remember, at the beginning of our test, we only had two lights. Now we get to test and see how long it's gonna take for that battery to charge. So let me go plug it in and then I'll be right back. The battery is fully charged. It did take about 60 minutes to get to that point. I was hoping for it to take a little bit less, but at least you know now it takes about 60 minutes. Now that was the first full charge of the battery. So wanted to just kind of give you the specifics there. Let's dive back into cutting this one inch hole into the cinder block. Okay, we're gonna start a new hole. There you have it, we can cut a one inch in diameter hole in a cinder block with this Ryobi hammer drill. So that's pretty cool, especially if you have to do this in the side of a home. Our final test will be to cut a one and a quarter inch hole in a piece of porcelain tile. So we're just gonna use a standard hole saw for that, a standard diamond bit hole saw. Uh, this one's by Milwaukee. So let's go ahead and do our test. All right, so there you go. We cut our perfect circle in our porcelain tile. So this is a porcelain tile, it's not ceramic, and that makes it pretty hard tile. So it's nice that you can cut a hole in it with the Ryobi hammer drill.
By the way, I'm gonna be putting an Amazon affiliate link for this hammer drill down in the description. So if you wanna buy this and support our show in the process, you can do that by clicking on the link down in the description. This Ryobi 18 volt hammer drill driver kit has plenty of power. As you saw in our test, we cut through a cinder block, brick, and porcelain tile. So those are all hard materials to cut through. The fact that this did it, and it did it in a decent amount of time is a good thing for you. Now the price point is $149. One of the things that I've always respected about Ryobi is they keep the price point low. So if you're a homeowner and you're not gonna be cutting through porcelain tile or cinder block or brick all that often, and you just want a really great cordless hammer drill to do some of those miscellaneous projects around the home, this is a phenomenal option for you. Now the 149, you get the you get the hammer drill, you get the battery, you get the carrying case. I wish you'd be able to get one additional battery, but I totally understand for 149 bucks, that's that's not a ton of money. And to get this type of a, a power tool for that price point is great. So you know, keep that in mind when you're shopping around. If you want the extra battery, you can always go buy one so that you have one charging and one in use. Now I do have to tell you. One thing, whenever I was cutting through the cinder block, the masonry bit did fall out of the drill twice. Now that could be user error on my part. Maybe I just didn't ratchet it down tight enough, which is most likely the scenario because I've, I've never used this hammer drill before. But again, I wanted to tell you that that happened in my experience. So uh, keep that in mind. Just make sure you ratchet down on the chuck whenever you're using these large uh, masonry bits. You know, a one inch masonry bit, it's pretty big. You're not going to be using that all all that often around the home. So um, I did want to tell you though my experience with, the, with that bit and this hammer drill. So that's it for today. Let me know what your thoughts are about this particular power tool by Ryobi down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, you can do that right here. And you can also watch some of our other videos that we have out on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I hope you have a great day.